Hey, hey, Ben Bush again. How's the audio? So, fun fact, I've got 30 portfolios to go through right now. I really wish people who were in class would have brought up things. Instead, now I have 30 to go through in one night. I don't think I'll do a class like that again because I, it would have been more effective for me just to sit in my office and knock this out. But you live, you learn. That's stupid. All right. You feel like it's going the wrong direction. Your region's on a hydroponic system. How does a hydroponic system work? Clay, roots, nutrient, cool. I see the ugly prototype, but I'm down with the ugly prototypes because it means you actually learn something or you try to learn something. For the small home, okay. Now this is a bit of a conundrum because typically things that are 3D printed are not mass manufactured. So all I can see on that one is it depends. 3D printed stuff is not watertight. So just know that. Brainstorming. All right, hydroponic starts in the middle. Location, form, plants, materials. Is there anything else? Sunlight? Let me see if this folds in. Indoor, outdoor, I guess that kind of folds into sunlight. Indoor, okay. The only thing I don't like is the images seem random. And I don't think anyone who's These two things, unless I saw the thing downstairs uh, that Rusty bought, I wouldn't know what these are. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. Seeing this blown up, I'd like this sketch cleaned up. Another opportunity to throw this in the computer, just trace over it. Get rid of whatever that thing is. All right, my question here is like, so we did brainstorming. So what? Indoor, passive, apartment, and the last one kind of needs like a bigger subtitle. I might consider bolding. I mean, the color does help me bring into it, but this text is still kind of small. So maybe bold or enlarge the parts that you're like, all right, this is the direction I'm going. And this can be like ideation. Like I adventure through different types of Drawing mediums to help explore the idea of integrating a system that are for herbs in a small uh, apartment that uses passive LEDs. Sorry, it's not wouldn't be passive, but LEDs and has a modular components. So right now I just see shapes. I want you to pull research into what you did. What did you learn from your model? What's up with the spacing? What is up with this? If it's a 3D printer, yo, get rid of 3D printer. Like, it's like, we don't need it. It's not that special. Unless you did something radically new with a 3D printer. But I don't think you did. Stackable. Okay, if it is stackable, I want to see it stacked at some point more than too high. This feels like it's scaled a little bit too big. I think I got this idea from the, the previous page. Yeah. So this really doesn't tell me anything more. I mean, I see your water indicators here. What's nice about the water indicators, like I know it's a water indicator just from the visuals. I think that's good. Um. Always, I'm just like I'm interested in the idea of how do you get sunlight to it when you start stacking? Because stacking kind of implies that you're going to lose light. Additionally, you talk about your lighting passive LED or sunlight. How does that work when you stack things, which uh, kind of implies a shadow? I like that a lot. Okay, just a few minor details to iron out. One.
Get rid of ID 3210. And do coat rack redesign here. We just don't need the information. Uh, I don't really care if it's in spring 2019 either. I'd lose that. All right. And if you could, just for a little bit of clarity of design, try to get things to line up. So the D should be pulled over to the edge of the C, same thing with the P. The K, the N, and the S should line up as well. For your title, not title, but page headers, maybe change them to white. They're not popping off the page. Really, like, I, I don't need them, but they can be useful. Hosting spark be fun. Overly stuffed closets. Less words, please. All right, basic graphic design. I want these things to line up. Why? Because they can scale up and then uh, crop down a little bit. All right, we don't want to dig. Don't want to do the hangers. No time for clutter. Okay, I'm getting there. All right, so what? Dollar balance, coat rack. All this does is define, all right, I need a clothes rack. It's not really redesigning it. If you are redesigning it, which this claims you are doing it, you need to start saying what's wrong with the current coat rack and those turn into possible items for growth or opportunities for improvement. Okay. I like only changes I would throw this vignette on the back side and get rid of that dimension because really the dimensions at this point don't matter so much. I wouldn't say you backtracked. I would say like the more you thought about the problem, you realize that it's not just coats that need to be hung up, but there's other things that need a home, especially if you're drinking something. All right, at this point, I feel like I need a shadow, and scale should start kicking in at some point. Does scale kick in? No. Courtney, honestly, this thing's sitting on the table. It's like three feet tall. Ain't nobody going to put a coat on it. So one, scale, two, I mean, just reduce text. Nobody's, like, if you can say it in one, one sentence or two sentences, say it there. I mean, the bolding's okay, but I'm having to work through a lot of text that I'm not going to read. And really, it should be like annotations, especially on step, sketches, one thought, one thought. Now, these have a little bit more. What you might want to do is if you need both sentences, hit enter, but... Considering you're dictating parts of it, are you duplicating information? Crop that in just a, a touch on the side. I want to give you advice on this page. I don't feel like it's done yet, but I don't know what to do. One issue is about you running these borders every single time. You're limiting your vertical space. Like I want you to scale up some, but if you scale up, then you got full bleed. And you really can't full bleed these as easily. I Maybe mean, we could try it. Like throw that far left. Full bleed top and bottom. Keep in mind, you don't want to bleed over that. But this area should be occupied. This area should be occupied by an image. And if that doesn't work, go back to this. It might be worth it to try to Photoshop a jacket on it. I mean, that's what it's for, right? Let me see. T. 
seeing room. I'm kind of certain you posted one later. I'm not sure right now. Let me check quickly. I guess not. Alright, let's go back up then. Is there a reason like we're bolting Mation? I would scale up the the phrase UFO mechanical toy. That way it matches the same length at the skiers bearing and rod. Text is too small, man. Text is too small. Alright, I see what you're doing. I'd rather you talk about like the process. What was difficult about developing the mechanics? Or how well did sketching these mechanics translate to actually making the mechanics? That's what I'm more interested in here. And why are we calling it principle? Instead of concepts, because at this point, like I know it's concepts, so I think I'd rather you lose this here, take these sketches, move it to the middle, and like obviously has a bunch of saucer shapes. Why did you pick one over the other? I would use the, the kind of annotation, the little call out. This was good, but it didn't work. This was good, but had too much detail that wouldn't be appreciated. I thought about doing this little drop tube, but reason why it didn't work. Too nostalgic. I really like this one. So I want to know more about your decision of why you choose which one. Can't read the text. Like, granted, I'm not going to read a lot of it, but when it's so small that I can't read it, it guarantees that I won't. So now I'm just like running on my perception of what I think you're trying to communicate through the images. A little issue on the right as well is your images are too small. So while I'd like to appreciate the detail, I just can't see it. Maybe three images. Throw one of these out. We'll say one, two, three. One, two, possibly scaled up to the width or scaled up to the same height. And then the third one can sit down here and then your text can be in this area. 2.0, at this point, what are the specific changes? I like what you did, just can't read the text. What'd you game? Well, one, clean up whatever's out there. Then two, why did you choose the Lazy Susan? Like, why is that a good introduction? What does it help you do? Is there a one? UFO, and then like you say something, you say nothing, then two, Lazy Susan, three outputs. One input. Okay, so it's out of out of order. Can you like vector draw like an arrow showing that this is the turn? And then two lazy Susan. So it's very similar to what you've done here, but repeated it again here. So three dimensional arrow showing turning. Three outputs, and then once again gesture what it does when you turn it. This is cool. I might include a QR code. Turn the rod, input plus output. I know it's not literal, but can we exaggerate this, make it even more? Only because I'm looking for differences and I see that the handle goes up. I don't see this change at all, but I see that this goes up just a touch. I would if possible, pull it even further just to exaggerate and bring my attention to it. Let me look, let me look. All right, you have a later one. So I'm going to come back, read these comments, and then look at your later one. Same thing. You have a later posting.
Let me see if there's anything I can tell you really fast. Okay. Hopefully my, my screen will change. Problem with this is you're not making a portfolio in spreads. So I really should be looking at it like this. Is there anywhere else you can communicate human scale that's on that last image? Maybe if you go to the human like walking by right over here, it won't distract from your object, but give me an idea that this comes up to my knee. And like it's, it's simply a line drawing, maybe a little bit of a fill, like a 20% white fill. Where else can we do communication, communication? I'd rather see like, this like make a really sexy final render, not a human scale render. Like what would it look like out in public if someone was actually writing it? You might need to essentially do just this. Do an outline of a figure. Maybe don't color them in, just do like a light uh, transparent white. But then I want the background to make sense like it's supposed to be used in a city, so show it in a city. Uh, I'll come back to this one later, see if there's anything else I can drop information on. So Stephen, you say that's far more difficult than you expected. <sighs> I know you have a later one as well. Like, okay, I don't see anything, so we've got to keep on reading. Seth wants these things. All right. And can we really start with a target person? No. We need to start with an object you're designing, and then you can get a target person. Hmm. All right. Just quickly on this, because I have you as you submitted one later. So introducing, fine. Second one is just talk about coffee and what are some good and bad things about it. Then you can talk about your target consumer and then you're kind of mixing what would your target consumer, what, what type of life brands, items would they like? And then you take that information and you start doing sketches off of this is their style and this is the functionality they need after the, uh, the drip coffee maker. Then we'll do prototype testing. Most important thing, what did you learn from making this model? Maybe you could move these up a little bit and have a little text box here. Design details. I have some thoughts about this, but I'm going to wait till the last one to see if they change. Hello. I need a sip of tea. Delicious. A lamp for relaxing, okay? Alright, we can't do both of these. I would keep the top one. This one, I don't want to have the lamp in here because like at this point, I want to talk about inspiration to draw similar influences like I don't know, sunflowers, light beams, other type of tropical plants. And then say I wanted to replicate, uh, do we have a palmetto? Okay, you're other Paul, call it palmetto. I wanted to give the idea of serenity and peacefulness as, as if you were sitting under a palm branch on um, a warm sunny day so images are like that that way you kind of set the mood of this is the visual style that I'm going for and then the development process I like this I think the body text can come down one or two point sizes also I'd like you to take 
conch and then put it on this line wing move it over right here convalaria same thing line it up with the edge of your image get your final concept okay why did you do patterning good question I mean I think it's a once in an answer how can we the problem is like you saying this is 15 inch by 15 inch is that this is not 15 inch it should be square right um, version 1 version 2 version 3 does version 3 still fit on the sheet I don't know so I'm a little bit confused by available paper size 15 by 15 mm. and also what's the importance of being efficient you could say something like we were instructed to run our plans with Pinoco to get an accurate um, production price and I learned that I needed to drop my cost down by being more material efficient this is fine, I just run white balance, you see there's a little pink over here drop text size, it's just a bit too big that matters period material for this design needs to have sufficient light transparency and a proper thickness period Small design detail. See this line? Take image four and line it up so these two lines are above each other. I don't call it product because like you didn't mass manufacture it. I mean you made it, you made a prototype, but you didn't make a mass manufactured product, so just call it finished concept. Or like you really don't have to show this because this is probably the finished concept, so that's being a little, little redundant. Uh, the text is too small to read, so if you want me to read, make it bigger. Or in your case, shorten or use less words, make the, um, the text bigger. And then, I don't know, there might be a weird kind of space there. All right, if you should, image of other light in the background. Okay, show me that. Palmetto. And I guess since you have this as uh, your beginning image, I don't need to see it again. So it's okay to end on that type of page. Booze, let me check. Yes. All right. Advice. Everything works fine. I would like to drop the text size like two points maybe four points four points might be too much but like at least two try four it's just the text is a bit too big uh, secondly I want you to change the black text to like an 80 percent black text so a darker gray and then leave your touch of the view with hands visible portions let's say this a different way Packaging needs to be simple and food needs to be visible. Simple packaging needs to make the food visible. Because, like, the packaging isn't visible, it's a food, so see if you can put more emphasis on that. Um, it also feels a bit left heavy, so maybe bring it back in here. Maybe hit enter here. Project Go, I want one image. It can be a cat. I just feel like this page needs an image. I'm not sure if this is really a thing. Is that with the purpose of cleaning teeth? I just haven't heard that now. And so, unless you have an emphasis on cleaning teeth, it's just kind of something thrown in there that doesn't land home. I don't know. Right now I say take it out because all of a sudden you threw it in here and then I don't see it carried through the rest. Maybe it is project goals. The goal of... Let's call it a packaging project first and then a food first. Let's flip-flop these. 
the goal of my packaging was to provide a simple yet a innovative way to disprint dispense cat food okay that one should be bigger and i feel like it should be a bit more bold so the next stuff i would just drop font size four points take this here move it below a little bit smaller the goal of my food design was to incorporate wet and dry cat food to aid with the cleaning of the cat's teeth all right bit of a problem all i see are shapes you told me things you want to work on here. Packaging plus food. So how are you making the packaging more innovative, more simple? Call out little note. That's too small to read. Call out little note. Is this food or is it packaging? This one looks like it's more packaging. I I see it, but what does it do? Why is it innovative? So like I don't <laughs> the, the little color rins are, are for me way distracting. I do like how you titled the the items. But I wonder. If you do the same type of call outs as you do in the page before. Maybe you can do different different colors like Cat wheel callouts are pink, stack callouts are blue. That way I can kind of distinguish this is a concept, this is a concept, this is a concept. Feels like a wasted page. Is it called mass packaging? I don't feel right. Also, like saying the word longer expiration date, that sounds kind of gross. So stays fresher for longer that way the idea is on fresher instead of expiration hmm. this looks bad that looks better. So why can't you take these things? Multi-pack could be talked about on this page, and you do. Pop through packaging needs to be talked through on this page. Put it on number one. And wax covering the food, why is that important? And you do it on three. So I even have this. It's like you're being you're duplicating. This needs to have a box around it. I don't like changing the color on it. It's a fine way to end it though. Okay. Little extra blue line. What do we do? Design a kid for bench to use in school and for church. but it also a designing DIY project for the workers to make the bench. All right, say differently. Um, our challenge was to produce a set of drawings that would allow local Haitian craftsmen to create a, a kid's bench for church and a kid's desk for school yeah what's up with these give me a good craftsmanship it's annoying all right class and church diy bench plan made in 80 all right this is kind of reiterates the what do we do i guess i'm okay with that criteria what is the criteria these are just sketches or shapes how are these solving the problem or like how are you thinking through this This might be better. Like you said, it seems like you went for just a bench, just a bench, just a bench, and then you realize combining the two. Like, aha! We realized we could be more material efficient if instead of making two seating surfaces, we make one that is multifunctional. 
but I want like capital aha something to bring attention to like this is a, a shift of direction prototypes what did you learn I like it the only detail I would change is get rid of that part and move the arrow so it's out here and not kind of infringing on the words on and the cool make this image a little bit larger so I'd say quarter inch here quarter inch there do the same thing with the text where it's left aligned Yeah, we can't throw this in here like that. Like, I don't, I don't understand the mechanism. What I want is like kids using it. That's honestly what I want. Um, and this, I don't think this has enough instruction because like I don't know what links the cut. I Means understanding it should work like an IKEA um, assembly where you kind of may have a list of items like three two by fours, one, two, three, and this is all section A. Get section A and bag number three. Assemble this component. So find some blend between, what is it called? Legos and Ikea. And you gotta show this thing earlier. Like, you just tell me it goes in there, but I don't know how it works. I'm going to bold up blue sky exhibits and throw a logo on it. It's almost lost. You're being redundant. You have it here. You don't need it there. Okay. So we have a place. What do they need? All right. I don't know what they need. Two visionary concepts. Do we need to show this at all? Because for me, it's you explain that this is a place and they asked you to do what? You're designing a drum roll, please. I still don't know. Two concepts. Like, tell me what the concept is. Two visionary. Yep. I don't get us there to finding who their ideal guest is. What do you mean by that? I think it's good you're like rusty metallic. Let's not say engorge, please. It's just, it's a word that just brings scrutiny. Two visionary concepts, rustic green, sorry, mint rustic. In order to achieve this um, design style, I needed to capture the building's history, use dark and warm tones, and tie in family gardens. Same thing with the other one. I think you could write a little paragraph and then bold what makes it mint rustic and what makes it elegant green. All right, mood boards are good. Now, how do they translate? I wouldn't show me the merchandise yet because to me the merchandise is irrelevant and you got to tell me you're some type of shelving or storage or POP. You say he knows about merchanders, merchandisers, notes. Um, I see all this, but I can't make sense of it. I'm afraid you're throwing too much stuff on a page. Uh, so it might, if you do want to do a lot of research on what's out there, is one page, there's a big old shotgun approach. All these things, these are some major outcomes. And then two or three of the next page, these are the two highest rated. This is what's good. This is what's lacking. This is what's good. This is what's lacking. But don't fill this page up so much that I don't want to look at it at all. Problem mint green is you just throw a bunch of images at me. I would love some justification. And 
and like you see how you're doing some type of logo work already you got to repeat that because that's kind of what I expected because you started off like this I want to see the same font at the end like oh this is mint green um, and I want to know within mint green how did you solve the problem and also because your entire thing is move merchandise like you said in gorge sales um, you've got no merchandise on your shelves so I mean I can see what you're doing but maybe four of them just so space drop a fifth image and you give me some details why it's successful and then your last one you can actually add merchandise and fill it out or on this last one just photoshop one page add merchandise to it tell me why these are successful show me why it's that successful tell me why it's a good idea show me why it's a good idea Claude Yeah, advocacy is tough. I mean, you're in a digital world, pushing something that's not digital. Tech size could go down two here. That's okay, but knock that down just a bit more. Then versus now, yep, yep. I want to reposition a little bit because it's not so much like 70% of what teachers believe, but really who we're talking about. We're talking about students and their quick answers. So I want to put the word students. Students desire quick answers leading to lots of concentration. So figure out a way to get those two. That way you can bold students and quick answers. How to calculate an abacus. Okay, this is good. This is the how to. My next question is why? Don't do different because it's different. Do different because it's better. Also, some of these pop and some of them don't. That does because it's high contrast. That one, it's almost, it's difficult for me to see what's going on. Same thing with a couple of these. Um, I would say this one because you're doing a call out. Throw that in Photoshop or Sketchbook Pro and just trace over it. Same thing with one over here. I don't know how to do that page either because you, you say, all right, this is how an abacus work. I'm still need to be convinced why are we using an abacus and why are these sketches good. I think you need to introduce the game before, is there a game going on here? Yep, you talk about a learning tool. It sounds like a game to me. Um, what were you exploring on this page? So this one's like, all right, we're doing an abacus in this way to do this function. And then I explore different uh, colorways, different inter interfaces, interaction points that not only maintain attention, but get multifunctionality, something like that. It's not a bad page. It just needs a little bit of a lead in because I go from seeing sketches to a couple of these things and I don't know how they work. I'm assuming since this one's kind of front and center, that's the direction you went. And then I get to this, which looks great. Take that font size, apply it over here. Good, that's what I want. I I didn't read what you said. Okay, how logical is it how you group the final design on the page? That page. Okay. My first hesitation was we're looking at architecture and then all of a sudden I see a really cool product So I feel like the last time we had the old man, what I want to do, like take the same angle, cut across right here. That way I see half product and then like maybe like a workshop. Like if you're going to go to their garage and take a picture of it, that way I'm, it's not just about a product. 
heirloom pieces, bare bones, glory of process. It feels all very processed, but it's not just a product. It's like the ethos of an entire company. So maybe slashing and then putting a workshop over here and then talk about the glory of process. That way I'm tying together the product and how they do things. But it's a great start. I feel like here is when you're talking about Confederate motorcycles, like understanding who they are as a brand. You might not have to do this. Then again, this might be beneficial because I need to know um, what Confederate motorcycles needs, like what's their aesthetic, what are their functional needs before I get into the, uh, the project development. I'm cool with this. Only downside is I can barely see that one, and that one feels out of place. But I do like it. This is like it's a, it's a literal thought process. These things work. That one doesn't. This works. That one doesn't. I think that's very clever. All right, so just looking at this, our eyes are drawn to highest contrast, highest detail, power. What is power they're doing anything right now? Trying to group based, based on the scriptures. I'm cool, I'm, I'm cool with it. I like this being here, saying that this is like obviously a, a front view, this is a top view, but I feel like this needs to be a bit more bold because visually it's getting like, it's third tier or fourth tier. So one, two, three, four. Can we punch that up a little bit? Be, typically, I don't like mixing 2D with 3D. I like 2D on one page and 3D on the next. But because you're lining this up, I can understand how this applies. And then when you're talking about the air view split, it makes sense. Where if I just saw in that view at one, so I think it works. Now you're pulling in vocabulary, and I'm wondering where you got it from. Power, beauty, and honesty. So, drop in images. And you need, the problem with this is like, how do you extract visual brand language from an image that looks like mechanics, that looks like honesty. Um, maybe this looks like power. Maybe that could possibly look like power. So where do these words come from? That's basically what I'm hunting out for. Little Photoshop, that's vertical. That one leans in some. And then you can tell me a little bit more about why this is successful, why it's beautiful, why it's functional. This is cool. I like how you're using blue to bring attention to things. Like the image, I just can't, it's too faint for me to, to, see, to know what I'm looking at. Let's see, no, uh, you've got one later, no comment, so I'll just read the later one. Too many renderings for different parts of the product. Six page. One, two. Okay, come on. Yeah. This is too much, too much visual information. I think organization could help it. This is fine. Uh, leg strap could be okay, but this is where it gets problematic. If you could scale those down and fit them inside your gray box. And then leg support, just need less images. What I might do, take these two images, mirror them. So you have the tall one here, shorter one here. And then pick one of the details and show the details. And then maybe say a little bit of information about it. This is good, that's too much. So I think I have good advice for you. All right, there's an actuary seat for standing type operate, uh, uh, surgery operation. I like this. 
it's it's an attractive page. The downside is the the size of things, and because it's full, I really can't suggest scaling anything up. You need to establish some flow lines. So I'm expecting the bottom of this image to line up with the bottom of that graphic to line up the bottom of this image. This needs to drop down some. Line up at the bottom of that image. My thoughts are, I see that you wrote, but I can't read it. And so if I'm additionally curious, like it's good that I can understand what's going on with images, but it's not that I might read the text right now to no. know if I can't read the text I'm sure that I won't read it persona Robert Scott that needs to be read and also like target or like what are designing opportunities here the downside with the brainstorming is brainstorming typically comes right before concepting that's okay human engineering all right so we're not really brainstorming this is gathering information still might sound odd but I would throw brainstorming away because I'm interested in my target or like what are your design opportunities should your persona and your design opportunities come after your human engineering because you just need basic data on how to make it successful also again you're really you're packing a, a page full we can't scale down the images because they're about as small as they can be and still be legible I'm just wondering like she just moved this to two pages one be human engineering human engineering and the second page be compare schemes I think that might be a more successful approach sketch and size test maybe don't show final product yet just do all concepts here maybe this is a prototype don't show these details here take this scale it up just a little bit so let's leave this as one page get rid of these detail images too small for me to appreciate them make this a little bit bigger make the words legible and then when I get over to the details I know where they go in a bigger scheme so that would work usage flow if you're talking about usage step one step two step three step four step five let me see Lucas you have a later one so we're in previous okay so I want to get that one Ladong. What's my time like? Okay. Where'd you go, Ladon? I didn't talk about yours yet. There we go. CAD model. Should I use one page to do the callouts of my CAD model, or should I show some details within my features? Because I already showed my features in the real foam model. Okay. I might bold fix internal components and provide new benefits. Market research, sure. I think market research, like understanding that we are developing a, a toaster first before we go into the student. Because as a student, she could take this any direction. It could be for microwaves, it could be for coffee pots. Um, in this case, talk about toasters first, and then talk about Emma's needs in a toaster. Okay. The sketches are good. I might leave out the interface on this one. Uh, the only situation where I might change my mind on the interface is... Um, if you are trying to slant into consumer electronics position and you want to do 
not apps necessarily, but I mean, you're very interested in digital interfaces, and then you want to elaborate on how the interface worked. But that's also kind of in tandem, like when you're interacting with it, there are physical cues and there's digital cues. So you need to show both. Yeah, and these little call outs, right? They should either your image goes up and then you write, I designed it so that I have a special angle for the handle. Uh, the special angle accommodates both fingers and elbows. Or if you do like this style, I'm expecting this to go and kind of highlight the elbow or this to highlight the special angle. So to say that again, if you're just saying about the, the image at large, text should go on bottom. If you're using these type of leaders, then it should go to the specific spot that you're talking about. Images, images, sequence of use. Good, good, good. Because I've seen the macro view here, could you zoom in a little bit? Oh, we really can't zoom in, can we? Yeah, we can. Zoom in here because that's irrelevant, that's irrelevant, that's irrelevant. I want to be closer to what you're actually showing. Well, okay, I still notice the sequence of use because it's done the same style as your sequence of use page. What I'd like you to do is continue this line so it flows directly into the next page and then come over and down. That way it's a, it's a visual continuation of what I've seen before. And the thing is like you say most importantly, this should be bigger and bolder if it is most importantly. All right. Two small decisions. You see this white line on the left? Not useful at all. I'd rather this gradient be all the way to the edge, or you can just take this image and throw it all the way to the left. Same with these images. I got a white bar that's not serving any benefit. Take them, throw it to the right. Okay. MasterCard and retail shelf. Get rid of the time. In most portfolios, actually with all portfolios, I don't care when you did it. I just care that it's good, so timings are relevant. You can literally do it two days before your interview. They don't care as long as you can produce good work. Oh, burr. Okay, why are we starting off with palette design? I know you're talking about MasterCard. But what did Burl Barley Granola ask you to do? Spend a quick page on that. They tasked me with uh, redesigning packaging, ensuring uh, product safety, and something else, ensuring attractiveness or conveyance of brand values, something like that. Why is this still around? Oh, to tell me that you're getting rid of it. Got it. Um, so in between, tell me what you were tasked with. And then when you get into palette design, I'm like, oh, you're doing palette design because I asked you to do it. It's part of your, your brief. I think your text is too small. Palette design, max volume, box sizing, tight budget. What do you mean by that? And if I was curious, I would read it. But I think this font size is too small. Is there anything in here that is like the right font? This. So that's about as small as you can get on this document. Take that and apply it to the rest. So after you do your kind of palette, does, I mean, you're not going to redesign a palette. You're going to fit whatever you can best to it. And like what limitations does that give you? Those limitations go into your more immediate product packaging. I was limited to a volume of something, something by something. And I needed, I don't know. I just want to, I want to know a why you did this part and then you did this part. Why is that significant? Opening, spell check, the benefits of the design lie in their cost effectiveness, easy to open, debatable, 
probably good. There's another benefit is like it's already packaged. It's so like no one has to fill any shelves. It's just bring the thing to an aisle, rip off the top, slide it in. You know that your product's taken care of. Where's the page break? This also feels a bit empty. So because it's empty, I'm wondering if you could enlarge picture, enlarge picture, crop it down so you still have that, that midline. And that way you can scoot this text out so it doesn't feel so empty at the bottom. Okay, color scheme. Cool, makes sense. I'm just wondering like, why is there a different space between these? Or if you have a chosen color scheme, which this one, I guess, yeah. Maybe some a, a light dotted or a light dashed selection around it saying, oh, this is it. Not gonna read any of it. Ooh, hyphenations. Next time, I'm gonna just quit looking at your portfolio. That's, they're like, they're kryptonite to me. They make me wanna just play in traffic. What is this? You can't just, Mrs. Turner's, I'm not really sure you can do that. Why? Because you showed me that there's a rip off top here and then I get to the bottom and it's no longer a rip off top, but a slide off top. Ben Bush is confused. I don't want to be confused. This one's compressed. Have I looked at Noah's yet? No. You have a new submission. So I'm looking at the newest one. EJ, I think you uploaded one later. So I'll take the stop timestamp for that one. Mills. Ah, Mills, where'd he go? Stop playing hide and seek with me. It's not funny. All right. Okay. You could put like, I don't know, six weeks project, um, scooter project, last mile project. Just a little info. It couldn't hurt. And I know you don't want to do this, but the more I look at this graphic in the hall, it bugs. It bugs me a lot because you see angle, 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 angle. It says Rue. I don't know why in the world in my mind it said rod, but hot rod. I've got my issues. <laughs> but because you have angular, 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 and then you break it. I want that line to be straight right here. You ain't got to change it, but I'm telling you it bugs me. Last mile, you need, let's drop text size. This is too big. I don't want the hierarchy, so that's biggest, medium. I want it to be a little bit smaller. Uh, you could also consider maybe making this text more gray. That could knock it back visually just a notch. And instead of like bullet points, just center the text under your graphic. Center align. Ideation fabrication. So you can mm, you can do this, but you can't do this. That looks just bad. Um, I don't even know if there's that shot, but it looks great. Why are you show me this becomes my question. And can we scale or can we crop that down or crop it and scale it? Because I don't know that little line there bugs me. Ideation, just give me a little description. So similar to what we have up here, primary, secondary, tertiary, take this text. Of course, I need it a little bit smaller. Ideation, one sentence. Quickly did I edit ideation, realized I need to move in fabrication. Through fabrication, I learned X, Y, and Z. Then we get to Rod. Subtitle, Rod, a sophisticated approach to last mile transportation. Mobility, functions, rod. Now, mobility, versatility, storage. You said this was important. Mobility. Three wheels. Okay, so that's stability, not so much mobility. Tilt and turn. Is that more balance? Also, if you're going to talk about tilt and turn, show me the tilt and turn. Don't, don't tease me like that. Functions. Bag storage, well, show me a bag. 
dolly function. Dolly function is really cool because typically scooters aren't supposed to be able to do that. It might be a good reason to tell me why does this double as a dolly? I don't know. You know. I don't know. Back wheel drops down to insert handlebar. Don't tell me, show me, because even though I'm reading this, I don't know what you mean. Right. All right. My biggest thing is like, this has to be potentially really cool. Like, how many times do I need a hand truck and I don't have one and no one has one? So we just kind of rig it. This could be good, but I don't know why you did it. And more importantly, how much weight? I mean, could you throw like 150 pounds? Could you throw it like a um, refrigerator on this? I'm just curious. And curiosity can be a good thing. Jack, 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 okay. Yep, all renders being redone, okay. Visual hockey is fine. It feels a touch small, but it's it's barely legible. The goal, I would, let's knock that sizing up just a piece, please. Um, get rid of fall 17. Don't care what you did, just care that it's good. Sorry, I don't care when you did it, I just care that it's good. Contents, we need to five, six. Let me do a quick run through. For my biggest thing is you got to tell me why you're doing this. And I remember saying this back in this last comment. So, Mr. Hammond, are you watching my videos or am I wasting my damn time? I feel like it's the second. Because, like, maybe I misspoke. Uh, Subran. But, like, I didn't read it. So, how can we bring more attention to this? Because right now, Aura by Alienware is bold. And so... I missed that we're creating a sub brand. Really, it should go right here. Contents isn't really important, but why are you making the contents? Why are you spreading out this sub brand so far across? And what maybe are the essential elements of alien brand that you need to pull over? And then what needs to be different? Like what's a constant and what's a variable? All right, do logo, you colors, product opportunity, where? Here? Could you put your aura symbol somewhere around here? I don't see it, because I don't know, like, it's gonna go one of the two directions. Typically it's expensive, inexpensive. Is it more expensive or less expensive? So where's your opportunity space? primary logo. You might need to do all logo development before you do. All right, so that's research. For some reason, I feel like that's brand or I feel like that's product. Now we get a product, okay. So product should include the development of the branding. Do I see it? Yes, it's small. Is there any way you can fix that? I'd like it to see on your product and I'd like you to clean some of this up. Like you can just Photoshop that out. You can Photoshop that out. I don't love drop shadows, but I'm going to go home that initiative. Another issue you might run across is just explaining why it's successful or explaining your thought process. Because like you just, you applied it to a POP and then you applied it to a space. And yes, she went and told you to do it. But that's not going to cut it. So, what what has to be done right in terms of like philosophy and approach for this to be a successful? In the render, I mean, the stuff looks good. I'm just still wondering, like, other than shoe and saying do it, what's the why? Wes, let me check. Wes, you have a new submission. Where is, is it? Nope, I don't see it. Why did I cross your name out? Do you think the preview? I'm going to 
go over it first. I don't want to not give you any feedback. Do you think the proof of first phase is appropriate for this type of project? Do you think my digital rendering? Um, a lot of things. I want to know what's the most, most important. We'll see if I can remember. Biscuits. Okay, I gotta go back and read. Is it appropriate? Yeah, it's a flashy project. I don't mind it so much. It's kind of supreme hype, but it doesn't bother me. What I might do is, right now the blue feels like it's in front of your image. I wonder what it looked like if blue is behind your image because it kind of knots back the contrast and kind of the glossiness. It makes it look like a dull wallpaper and I don't think it's dull. So I try that in reverse. Side table is good, digital rendering. Do I think digital rendering on the side table is appropriate? Well, I think it's kind of necessary. When do you show me scale? You don't until it's on a table that helps me have a better idea where it's at. Uh, realistically, it would probably just, is that the only thing that's gonna sit? You probably have some coasters over here, uh, but I don't want it to be distracting, so I'm okay with that. It Alright, you're talking about manufacturing right now. Really your job as a designer is not manufacturing. Yes, you kind of dwell in that space occasionally, but I want to know how you in, you improve the form, which I mean there could be some small stuff you could talk about. Or like, do you ever explain why it's clear? I mean, I do appreciate like you making an improvement, but this one needs to look more glossy and sexy because I'm digging these highlights way more. So can you Photoshop punch this one a bit and then explain why the design is improved? Not so much that you improved superficial aesthetic elements. All right, you say time to play. I view it time, but is it playful though? Are you really iterating the idea of it being playful, joyful, etc.? It really should be here, All right? So first attempt was good. I had craft issues which compromised these things. If I was gonna improve it, I would readdress some form issues and integrate the word more. And it might be subtle, but talk about the subtleties. One, how it improves the design. Oh, we got a message. And then two, how it better fulfills the idea of it being playful or joyful or whatever your word is. Are we halfway yet? Any advice? I don't know. Um, so one problem I have is y'all, y'all wearing me out. Because um, if everything's important, nothing's important. And so my request, where's my request? It's humble and it's small. And I think I'm just too tired to find it. I want y'all to help make identify like what is the most important thing. Here we go. The area where you need feedback the most and by hitting me up for so much it's just like <laughs> it's hard for me to use kind of hierarchy what do I look at first I'll try but the more you can focus the me the more effective I am <sighs> question marks on one three four and seven three plus four equals seven all right let's let's look Freaking Brent Hotel. All right, cool. What's nice is we talked about this today. And the question marks were for me. So just to quickly reiterate. Uh, project brief. We need to work on a graphic design here. Spell check B-R-I-E-F. I know it's not your first language, but just, just what I see. 
user experience design. If you're talking about user experience design, that's what you have to drive home. Is the old Brent Hotel important? Uh, I might knock the font size up to make it a little bit more legible. You have two project briefs, so just put one. New aesthetic, new system, old money, or old aesthetics. Okay. I think I would like the, the text in the image. Talk about changing this, minimize or left align this information. Is it getting to the floor, third floor or getting to a spot on the third floor that's challenging? Research surroundings, same thing, note that to the left. This page can work. Highlight one, two, three. This one is product positioning or experience positioning. Make that into a make this into like a typographic paragraph. Talk about highlighting this. Talking about taking this page and integrating it into this one. Is that right? No. We talk about integrating this into the next one. I think you made changes, and so the rest of us have to refer to what I said in our conversation. And this morning didn't change anything. It's nice when we can talk about stuff when I'm at school. We're talking about this guy on either tomorrow or Monday. Actually, okay, don't read this one. Got it. Moving fast. Dylon. Four applies. All right. In terms of the development, made lower the opacity of circles, supported director I got it, sketches to distracting you. Yeah, also added sketch to make it a little bit bigger, different scale, okay. Took away white line and design goals. All right, so you're telling me about the changes, but like, what type of feedback do you desire, sir? Okay. Got it. I don't know why I want the word brief underlined and center line centered here. Not necessary as a thought. Like the information, design goals, portable, learning curve, storage. Now, I'm going to skip the end. Do you address these issues? Portable, low, learning curve, and storage. Portable. You call it unique, but that was not part of your design criteria. Okay, this one is storing. Got it. All right, it's very simple. Does it fit in public transit? This is not actually your solution though. This is like your design goal, uh, design trajectory. I think everything works fine. Man. Visually it looks good. What do you mean problem two solutions? Show me this. <laughs> or like, at what point is it portable? At what point is it lowering the learning curve? Like I want you to be more explicit. How are we doing? Yep. Audio, great. Who is next? <sighs> Miss Kendall. I think we talked during class. Double checking. Yep. 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 Talked about these things. Okay. Kimmy. 
better. Do you see this Photoshop issue? So white to object, good. I see a little bit of a line. White, pink object, fix that up. That one looks fine. Oh, we loaded. All right. I'm going to give it 10 more seconds. If it ain't loaded, I want to see if it's under 20. Excelente. Just in time to get a little sip of tea. All right. I am digging that color. My goodness. It's like a orange on. It's like a aqua. It's like a dark green. Has a hint of teal. Went into the wrong major. Whew. Let's take the words, throw them on the bottom, which means take these this imagery, move it up a bit. Um, what is the word we charged you with? Like you had to design something that was structural? You don't say. I'm gonna call it serious. Sure, serious. I might say on the, on the top line, I needed to understand what quote unquote serious looks through by using synonyms like dot dot dot, and then the bottom confidence stability risk taking. We've also got to tile these so you have equal spacing. My inclination is use this spacing, this 16th of an inch, on everything. Everything needs to be 16th of an inch spaced and fit into some type of grid. Then the translation, what is that? Is if these are important and this page is important, how are these sketches showing confidence, stability, and risk taking? You're going to have to like call outs or a little bit of text. Iterations. Problem is, you got too small. Look how much real estate we, we, we should be using. And I don't want to show this one yet because it's like we're still talking about process. If you had the models, it'd be worth reshooting because everything has this model in it, even that one. So it looks, it's like it's incriminating because you did your first model and it became your last model instead of improving it. In context photo, Kimmy. You realize this thing is eighth of an inch, quarter inch. I only know what it is because I know what to look for. If not, I'm just seeing small image. Give me one big in context photo, but give it to me at the very end. Final design, why is it good? You're missing the entire point. I don't care about 10 inches tall. I'll understand scale when you show it here. But what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to communicate these things. Why does it do that well? All right. This Tibo song. Let me make sure I got the right version. One, three. Tuesday, yesterday. What was yesterday? Thursday. Okay. Let's look at this one. All right, we're protecting your golf golf bag. I think it'll be more effective to design for protection. Uh, have um, like a golf bag here with a little club sticking up because we're talking about golf. Let's show a golf bag and not some layers of acrylic. All right, I'm cool with the bolds. The biggest port here is the 55% breaks the club while traveling, costing them. It's not so much about costing the money. It's like I'm attached to a tool and when it breaks, I can't use that tool no more. So I'm wondering how we can take that idea and show it later in the portfolio. Design goals or design opportunities, hard case and expensive. Okay, 
Soft bag is too soft, okay. Um, let's... Problem areas is your left side, and then design opportunities is your right side. So, pull that over. Cost, and I want iteration. Right now I just see shapes. So I wanna see, actually I need to see callouts. And some of these are, it's just kind of hard to see what you're doing, so I have to have some type of text talking about them. I mean, imagine that I'm looking at this portfolio for the first time. I see shapes. The thing is, you're the only one who knows how it works, how to open it, close it, how to protect the clubs, how much it costs, what material. And if you don't share with that in that the PDF, I'm not going to call you for an interview because I don't know. If you give me some information to go off of, I can appreciate your decision making. All right, what does it do? Show me a little bit of text, tell me. Let's keep all text on the, on the bottom. So bottom, bottom, bottom. I really don't care about the acrylic. The acrylic is only significant because it keeps this safe. So how do you install it? How do you take it apart? I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. You say it's seven pieces, but I only see six. Seven boards. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do you assemble it? And then how do you de actually just if you show me one, how do you assemble it or how you de-assemble it? That would be sufficient. But right now, you don't show me the steps. EG. Super T, please. Okay. Video conferencing system. What did you want to do? Video conferences, design language. All right, my biggest issue right now is just simply scale. Um, it is an improvement. But look at my screen. Right now, this is taking up less than half the size of my screen. It's not that I want you to reformat. It's just by using this, this more linear page layout, you have to make images bigger that way I can see it on my screen if I can't see it on my screen if I don't really like your sketching I'm gonna keep going so video conferencing system what are some of the requirements of video conferencing systems uh, excellent audio quality durable expressive sophistication and then come over here and talk about what are the needs well actually so this is the needs of the product and then your design language. Uh, I feel that it should have an aesthetic of explaining. Once again, I can't really read, so I don't know what you're talking about. This height adjustment and angle adjustment should be up in the front. These are the needs of a video conference phone. As I started explaining, exploring the idea of integrating triangles, I realized they were strong, confident, uh, modern looking and so I expanded that philosophy into my design exploration for height adjustment this is how I did it for angle adjustment this is how I addressed it triangular element sound collector I've said it before I'm not a huge fan of dimensions I'd rather understand context is there any way you can show me context here I guess so in a rare case I'm fine with you leaving the dimensions works really good in uh, Europe and Asia because they use the millimeter system. Americans get totally lost. We don't use millimeters that much. Just throwing that piece of information out there. And like what you're doing, you're, you're, you're expanding a design language not over a product but multiple products. So I think it's even more important what's the philosophy, what type of asset needs to be added, and then how is it interpreted for each and every device.
I'm also wondering, this could be separate pages, this could be separate pages, this one and this one. So what format are you using? I'm not sure right now. Is it your turn, Wes? Yes. Yes to Wes. All right, anything changed? No, so keep keep my comments that I said early. Er. Off grid power. All right, we're going off the grid. I would like a little bit of text right here. Just you could be doing multiple products. Which one are you doing? Or call, call this a mood board, but you know what is this here for? All right, so there there are some changes. Um, what's the main color on this project? Kind of, ooh, yeah, yeah, there's no main color. I just maybe a light grade green. What I want you to do is take pro and all this information and right align it and scoot it closer. That way pros and cons are listed next to each other. Same thing, take this over to the right, right align it. And then maybe scale down, scale down, scan on just a little bit. Why are you showing me these products? Why are they important? What are you trying to do? And I know you're dealing with off-grid power, but this uses burning, um, Elements, not the human body. This is just solar, not the human body. This one is powered by body heat. Okay, that one is based off the body. So give me a design challenge. I wanted to make a new way to capture energy based off of body heat. And this is how I wanted to do it. And this should be split like this is design goal. And this is require design features or purpose of design. If it is purpose of design, I want you to show images, not icons. So images of people camping with their friends, image of like calling during emergency, uh, image of having fun with each other or image of hiding from the rain, because that's what it's really about. It's not about the icon, it's about like the human experience. This one, it looks like you're just doing helmets. Why did you pick a helmet? Be a great question to answer. Don't do hyphenations. Do not do hyphenations. I don't understand what this one's about. And I'm not going to read paragraphs. So this needs to be fixed. This needs a little bit of text talking about problems, solutions, like how to solve a problem. Visually, I think it's good. Just reinforce with a little bit of text. Also, color could bring attention to me. Not gray, but give it a color. Kind of a green grade would be better. What are your product details? What makes this successful? This is how it works. I need to know this portable battery is that portable battery. And this uh, circuit breaker diagram, where does it fit inside of it? And these heat receptors are, th are there too. So you need to take this orange. These need to be orange. The processor here needs to be green. And this blue needs to match that blue. And then at that point, I'm not really sure you need the circuit diagram. I might explain how this system works before this page so right here because right now this is just a grid that goes to a portable battery and my question here is like all right how's it get power i want to know that information before i see how it's laid out and then really this would be a in action it should be something like this someone enjoying the fact that they have power even though they're off in the, the woods somewhere how far we got come on i'm losing my my steam Lakeman seen it heister now i told you i'd go up and look at your your comments so let's see if we can find them i'm lost that was fast too far, not far enough.
But yep, still lost. Found you again. Here we go. Yo, it's a lot of information. I'm struggling to find ways to make my, the plans and sections work with the rest of the project, especially hey, five plans. All right, so plan page. Okay. I'm willing to defer to like, you've probably seen more art architectural portfolios than I have. So as long as you're considering and like having a decision why you made um, a graphic choice, I'll stand behind your choice. Once again, this is your portfolio, not mine. I'm just throwing suggestions. And if you think you have an approach that is superior, I trust your decision protocol. It's just the same project. I feel like I'm crazy right now. Okay. I'm having the loveliest problem trying to understand what's going on. Come on. All right, first, concrete competition what they ask you to do is it existing or is this final i don't know i need you to talk me through this i don't get it original concrete planning link system What's up with the diagonal? Adapted board form concrete binary code? Why? Why is binary code important to this project? I see the inside of a building. I don't know who it's for. I don't know if it meets the criteria design brief. I don't know why it's good. Yo, Kimball Art Museum is awesome. Now, why is it Dallas Inspiration? All right. And and now we're back in Auburn. So why is it Dallas Inspiration? Because we don't live in Dallas. Core section for services. Is this... Okay, first... Well, there's no first one in this case. Second, third, and fourth. All right, I'm going to defer to you on this one as well because I don't see plan views as often as you do. What I would like is like an, not explosive, but like an isometric view showing both the core section for services and the open spaces, but I'm not going to make a, a claim out of that one. All right, this one's really hard for me to get, so I'd like to give you more info, but I got to talk to you face to face and learn more. Please open. Dialogue. Your dialogue word is a bit pixelated. Please see to that. Some, is this you? No, somebody else used this graphics. I'm okay with that. It just, we've got some image versus text lining up 
we're discussing dialogue design two interactive apps for special relationship could help with people with highly functional autism make friends easily um just get rid of the first sentence like I just want to know what we're talking about so we're talking about autism and an app for autism to help make friends said it last time please finish out the the boy and girl on the side so they don't look like they've been cut in half nope is that somebody else I don't know anymore I see too many things but it is not I understand because there's a lot of text can you bold the most important word or words to help me understand <laughs> you're designing for autism understanding autism might be a better try for this instead of understand Affinity map. Where do we start? Start with a different color. Maybe a little bit bigger and make it gray. Most people with autism are caused by congenial and acquired causes. Well, in this case, like how they get autism is irrelevant. These people already have, they're already on the autism spectrum. So how can you help them make friends? I don't see how that is relevant at all. This sounds bad too. And the thing is, even an American student really struggles with autism because there's a good chance if you interview in the United States, someone is going to have a relative or a friend who has autism in their autism spectrum. If you bring this in and it sounds um, insensitive, they're going to rip you apart and you're going to have to leave it. You're not going to get done presenting your, your project. You have to be very delicate with you say this. So that's what I'm, I'm harping on. People with autism cannot understand. That is not the way we want to take this. People with autism frequently struggle with understanding the collective consciousness. So cannot is like, Ben, you cannot walk. Which, I don't want to hear that. It's very negative. If you say, at the moment, Ben has a problem with walking. Okay, I have the, pro I have the opportunity to improve. And I know there might be a... a a language barrier and getting some of these words out but with this topic we can't mess up if you're gonna mm, I don't know the idea about taking two personas there's a saying that if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. Because it is a spectrum, every single person is different. Um, I have a feeling. Like, why do you need two apps? And I don't see this going in two directions, so it's going to be very difficult to give you feedback. Why do we need two apps here? And then why do we need to represent two people? I'd rather you make two really good apps that do two distinctively different things for one person. So I think that's as far as I can get on this project so far. Steven, is it okay to look at yours now? You've got one more, a couple, few updates. Okay, I'll wait just a second. Noah, upkeep. Visually, this bugs the stink out of me. It's like it doesn't need it. Upkeep can be done in that style, but product UX design needs to be a little bit lower. And then I might move design brief just a notch down. I'm looking for vertical alignment, so that should line up right here. We can't jump into ideation because I don't know what you're doing yet. Why is it so pixelated? Problems. All right, problems. Well, what's the task first? Design a solution for an everyday problem. All right, that's a sucky design brief. Because like that, that's what Rusty gave to the class. But what are you going to do? How are you solving this issue through product design? Um, I know it's about understanding. 
let's call it design challenge. Don't put it on the first page, put it on the second page. Our des the design challenge that I took on was wanting to fill in the gap between DIY auto repair and professional automotive surfaces. So a graphic DIY question exclamation part where you want to be and professional services. Kind of what the graphic shows here, but not the text shows. What are problems? Or what are challenges with the two systems? So what's the problem? Full DIY. What's the problem with full giving somebody else the autonomy to fix something that's yours? All right, so upkeep, I want to have that K, this first edge in the K lined up here. Why? Because right now neither is lined up. I'm looking for relationships. It's design, baby. Um, all right, so you got layout stuff. Layout stuff, layout stuff. Okay. I'm cool with the layout. My biggest thing is you explain the problem. You show the gap. You say this is going to solve it. Then you show how to solve it. That's what it comes down to. All right, and we are back. All right, Miss Harley. I don't mind 12 pages as long as I can go through them quickly. One of the biggest issues, I need you to export this so it's one page at a time for me. Foldable scooter, all right. I hate the long time walk too. Make this a statement. And I'm afraid, Are you addressing the last mile problem or are you making a scooter? And it's very important. Like, it's almost like, who are you making it for at this point? Not just some generalizations about scooters. So you might be trying to, to fix too many issues on this, this first page. Walking, biking, driving. I want some more colors on this. Also, spell check, please. Now, is... I don't know how to read this. This is a long time I got it. This is short comfort. Is it... It's... Is this more comfortable? Okay, that's more comfortable. That's not so much comfortable. Um... I'd like some more color. Let's just say you use, I'm gonna throw out three random colors because I do want different colors in this. Blue, red, purple. And then something consistent here. How about plus and negative? Plus here, negative here, plus here, and negative here. Just let me understand like comfort. It's little comfort. Convenience. This is more convenient than driving, why so? It's a good start. I just want some more visual distinction, mostly colors. Group research, really this is like product research. Uh, I see what you did, why is it important? Tell me why it's important, please. Design opportunities. We really, we talked about design criteria earlier. That's like what the project brief does. Intent. Eh. I want to avoid that. Experience is really big. It's really you're talking about just comfort and transportation. Timely comfort transportation based upon your research. So how does this fit timely comfort and transportation? Please tell me. Prototype one, prototype two. Look fine. And I'm tired. What's next? Talk about putting human scale here or human scale here. 
All right, it's minimal, portable, and lightweight. I want to show, I want to show multiple functionals, and then I want to show how it's portable. I'll just have to believe that it is lightweight. No. No. Don't do this. Human scale. User interface. Sure. Just talk about being simple and intuitive. That's not a power button. Why? Because it doesn't look like a power button. That looks like a power button. Especially for that little like circle with a line in it. All right, got it. So they fold in and maybe push down. So we left align that piece of information, left align that piece of information. Additionally, go back to criteria. What does it have to do to be successful? And I'm going back up here. How are you solving the problems of it being Whatever. I feel like this criteria is maybe too much to remember. Maybe four criteria is big enough. And we can really like reduce the amount of pages. I know having one page is good, but having lesser ugh, come on. Oh, I'm freaking tired. A sip of tea. Inner mechanics are good, but I need to show me how the inner mechanics work. Somehow. Might be a good video opportunity. Why is it important for me to know how the wheel is constructed or composed of? Folding mechanism, does this solve one of your problems? Steering mechanism, probably not. Leave this alone. Human scale, show that earlier. All right, Steven updates. Yes, hooray. Lakey, target, talk about switching that up earlier, construct ideas, right? What I want is like something like call outs saying like how these are addressing your target consumer's needs. Cause right now they just look like shapes. What did you learn from the prototype? How it works, like, okay, same comments from the last one. Sarah Wilk, this version. I'll give you my first impression, and we can talk about it later. You'd probably make me talk about it later anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. This is better, but come on, I'm looking for craftsmanship. S doesn't line up. One design. Cool, cool, cool. I might break this down into two pages. One big images of one big image of the crisis. It can be in the background. That's fine. Is this being redundant? So just the problem here, not key issues yet, or maybe the problem and key issues. But this is part of the solution, right? Talking about economy. This is the problem. This is a possible solution. I know it's wrapped up in the same thing, but. It's a problem. When do you introduce a system? Okay, that's where it has to be introduced here. And then I need you to graphically show me what the system might look like. I know it's kind of a Tom system, and if anybody has already visualized that's the, the Tom system, please rip it off and borrow it again. And you can get to a backpack, but not yet, because we need to talk about how do you make the system work? How do you give them dignity? How do you give them employment? How do you give them um, a living wage and a way to express themselves to the, uh, the rest of the world that they're not just refugees, they are humans with a culture that can give back. That should be the middle page. And then I get to
maybe this. Like it just so happens to be a backpack. The system can operate with any product, but backpack is the one you choose at the very end of this. So reconstruct this in between, talk about how the system works, more importantly, show how the system works. And then go to backpack. I would put scripture where the system slash service exists. Redo sketches. That's fun. My biggest thing is like, I don't care necessarily about the form of the backpack. I'm wondering how the Syrians local culture, their philosophies, their uh, ancient handicrafts are folded into whatever product this does look like. Is there anything specific about this pattern? Here we go. I don't want to have to search for that. That should be huge. Um, I love what you're saying. Like this should like be the entire page and then you can come back and talk about details later. But I mean, the backpack is a medium to carry this uh, communication, this essential information. So let's make that big and apparent. Might do images on the next page. And then it was coolly selected by Professor Wyndham, but what do I care about? I had the opportunity to show my bag to give how many thousands of people I wanted design. Um, viewers felt that the project was timely, engaged, thoughtful, something. Just give me more of the, the why it was good, not so much this is what I did. We can talk about it more, just throwing that out there. And Jared looks really short here. And I think he maybe has an inch on me. All right. Oh, well, dang, there you are, Iron Man. About left you out. Cook rack. <laughs> All right, you've been saying this for like a week and a half. Get it figured out. Why you need a coat rack needs to be in the middle. I feel like I've said that before. After taking all the styles, why did you get to that conclusion? All right. Mold making process, you're doing a layup, you're showing a problem. Typically, I want text, but here it actually works because you're talking about manufacturing. You're not really to least a solution state yet. So, how did you solve your problem? Well, I know draft angle is a problem. Like, you've already told me that here. Angle, problem, draft angle. So, how'd you fix it? Tycoon, what I need you to do is try to maintain a consistent um, font size. So for headings, that's fine. For heading, that's fine, but your body text goes up and down a lot. What I'd like you to do instead of uh, increasing size on everything, why does this look so different? Keep the body, so like your your paragraph text, your sentence text, the same size, and then use bolds to bring attention to it instead of um, changing the font size. Get rid of the idea of glue who helped a lot. Glue seems like it just saved you because instead of being a good designer, you just over-engineered it and you wasted a lot of money. So get rid of this glue helped a lot. Also, only two images, so get rid of one of these. Right now it's just taking up too much space. It's too clouded or crowded of an image. From workshop to your home. Okay. How does it go together? Not bad. Where can we drop a little text? From package to full assembly in five minutes. I would work on the white balance and contrast. This is the best image in terms of white quality, but that seems a little grayed. 
And then as I'm looking at this, does this image give me something I don't have? No. Keep the bigger one. This, this image give me something I don't have? No. So just keep the big one and then talk about why it's a successful design. All right. I'm done.